story, 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 story. Can I get money to do my hair? I want to do my hair. Oh, honey, I really don't have any money. I... Look, okay, I haven't been paid. I have bills to pay, and uh, you know, like, let me just let me just get let me just get some money and then. What is this? Two thousand naira. I beg, take your money. I want to do Brazilian hair. I'm tired of carrying this rubbish on my head. We are in lucky, for God's sake. The hair I want to buy is 64,000 naira. No, if I cry from this, I don't, I don't, rubbish I don't, money. I don't blame you. No, I, I really don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't know how hard it is to get money. Tough. Need I say that everything just went downhill from then on? I mean, there are women who will be content with 80,000 naira as their husbands take home pay. But not me. Definitely not me. I have needs, high-end needs, and my needs will be met. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hello. Just a minute. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Good. And your husband? Where is he? He has gone to work. I see. What does he do? He works in a bank. Oh. So, how long have you two been married? Um, just a little over a year, sir. I see. And you? What do you do? Um, I just finished my youth service two years ago. I'm still looking for a job. I see. Yes, sir. So, how are you finding your apartment? Um, it's small. But I like it. It's <laughs> appropriate for two of us for now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're Thank you welcome. for renting it to You're us. You're welcome. Here, take this. What is this for, sir? Your rent. Ah, what have we done wrong, sir? You don't want us here anymore. But we've only been here for three weeks. So please, please, Mr. Chief, Chief sorry, please. No, 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 no. Don't make a scene. I returned your rent to you because I can see that you need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. God it's bless okay. you. It's okay. It's okay. My card is in the envelope. You can come by the office later so that I'll see what to do about finding your work. Thank you, sir. Shh, don't even turn around. I can sense that my troublesome wife is around and watching. She'll come at you for sure. Um, when you leave here, remove the 300,000 check and the card. Leave the 50,000 cash in it. Tell her I returned your service charge to you. Sir, your wife will come at me. Please, I don't want any trouble. Don't. I... Just do as I say. Hmm? I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I will, sir. Thank you, sir. Returned the service charge because my husband paid for it without knowing it was free. Oh. 
So what were you two discussing for that long? Mm, nothing. I was only thanking him. Mm. I see. Now listen. Let that thank you end here and now. You have your own husband and I have mine. Stick to your husband and I will let you be. Why are you saying that? Oh, shut up! Who are you to ask me questions? Do that to me. Service charges are not free. Oh, shit. Story, story. Story, story. Story. You mean you collected the service charge? What is wrong with you, woman? You are what is wrong with me, chief. Why can't you just take your eyes off beautiful women for once in your entire life? She's married, for God's sakes. The more reason why you should know that I have good intention. Chief, 28 years I have lived with you. I know when you're up to something, and I'm never wrong. Hadja, 28 years ago, I bought this land for 15,000 naira. Today, it is worth over 300 million. The flats alone are going for over 300,000. I can jolly well return the rent to all the tenants and ask them to live for free if I want. Chief, you and I know that you don't have such pure love to give. So stop acting to the cameras. There's none here. Now listen, Lovette and her husband are such a young couple. I returned their service charge to them because I see they are struggling. Chief, every one of our tenants here is struggling. If not, they won't be living in our quarters. Mm. Now, don't you have any other thing to do, woman? Why don't you get into one of your blackmail acquired vehicles and go to the shop and gossip with your friends while you sell nothing? You can't blackmail me into buying you another outrageously expensive gift now. I have done nothing wrong this time. Really? Fine. Well, I just want you to know that you're not married to a fool, that's all. Spider. Yes, boss. Get the convoy ready. Yes, boss. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. We'll get back to you. Ah, ah, you go you give us a walk. You. You can't go. 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 Mr. David. Hi, good morning, Aisha. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, sir. You look smashy and uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, anyway, meet my daughter Cleo. Cleo, the company's best receptionist, Aisha. <laughs> it's so nice to finally meet you. You're welcome to Otsuba's Empire of Industries. <laughs> thank you. Happy to meet you too. My father talks about your constant glow and the wonderful work you do here. Hmm. How sweet. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. David, um, if you will, I will inform Otumba that you're here. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, do you care for anything? Tea or coffee? Uh, maybe no, you can ask I'm, her. I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Uh, please, where is your convenience? Right there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Daddy, I'll be back. And don't be long. Hello, Mr. David. Yes, sir. Mba, why are we seeing you this early morning? Hope there is no problem. Uh, no problem, sir. I am well. Uh, it's just that I need you to help me out with something. David, I don't have the whole day. Look, I, you can see I'm on my way out. Oh, okay, okay, sir. Um, my first daughter graduated from the Imo State University with honors four years ago mm -hmm. and still does not have a good job. Mm -hmm. 
she does menial jobs to assist the family, sir. And um, you know, sir, that I have served you this past 18 years and have been loyal and faithful to my job. Sir, I need you to help me out on this. Mr. My daughter, Debbie, your daughter needs a job. Ye yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. What was her course of study? Uh, business administration, sir. Mm, what yes. was her last uh, 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 pass out grade? First class, sir. First class? Yes, sir. That's interesting. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Where is she now? Where is she? Um, she's at the ladies, sir. Oh, so here? She, yes, yes. What? Aisha? Sir. You know his daughter? Yes, sir. Please call her. All right. Good day, Otumba. My name is Cleo David. Cleo David? Yes, sir. This is your father. Yes, sir. Sorry. Sir. This is your daughter. Yes, sir. My first daughter, sir. Uh, okay, you can go and wait, please. Uh, you, uh, we'll get across to you. We'll get back to you. Uh, you go and wait. David. Sir. David. Sir. Mr. David. Otumba, sir. Hmm. How many times did I call you? Three times, sir. This is your daughter. Does not need to lift a finger to walk on anybody. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I will take proper care of her. Thank you, sir. Give me the permission to ask for a handy marriage. Mm. Did she hear you? Of course she did. She said she'll be here soon. Good. Good day, Mama. Papa. Never no, mind, dear. Sit down, bro. You see, what your father and I want to tell you is for the overall good of you and the whole family. Pico, please. You know we are your parents and we cannot wish you bad. What is it, Mama? Papa? Cleo, after careful consideration, we have agreed for you to marry Otumba Badmost. What? Who? Shh, 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 shh. Don't raise any alarm. Hmm. Ever since the day he set his eyes on you in that office, he has since continuously begged for your hand in marriage. But. I did not consent until today. You accepted? Without talking to me? In this day and age, Papa, are you for real? You, you accepted that old, ugly looking man's offer to marry me? Stop, Cleo. Stop. Don't talk to your husband like that. It's rude. Are you guys serious? My, my husband, <laughs> mom, dad, please, if this is a joke, stop it, okay? Just stop it, please. Hey, Cleo, Cleo, I, I know, I know this is a shock to you, but never mind, my darling. I know you'll settle in and you'll be good and happy. Mm. I am certain that Otumba will make you happy. No, Dad! No! He can't make me happy! Please! Please stop! My heart belongs to Jude! Please! Segene! Look here, let me tell you. You see that your heart, eh? It now belongs to Otumba, eh, Noria? So, get used to it! And forget that Papa! Who can't even fend for himself, more so you! 
Oh, so this is about Otumba's money, eh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's no denying that. But, but you look at it now. Eh? This man is a great man. Eh? He's loaded. He, and he's in, in, influential and powerful. No, mom. And he's never been married. Nenka can a cousin with total package. Eh? Look on the bright side, Cleopatra. Never been married. And he's like, what? Huh? 105 years old. Of course, no one will marry him except your dear sacrificial lamb of a daughter. Cleo, Cleo, see, don't, don't get it all wrong. He's only 72 years old. Yeah. And no, you are not the sacrificial lamb. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Cleo! Go get her ready. Yeah. He's sending for her soon. Thing. My parents sold me out to such a fucking old man. How was I supposed to relate with him? What was I supposed to do with him? How was that supposed to happen? <laughs> this was unimaginable. Not to mention disgusting. <laughs> I knew this would kill Jude. And I was right. <laughs> Anything but nothing, please. I am dying here. <laughs> no. I don't know what to say. I, I can't think straight right now. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe it's happening too. It's just like a dream. <laughs> Why let it happen? I, I have been told I don't have a say. My father's future depends on this. Bullshit. Jude, please don't make this hard for me. <laughs> It's bullshit! You know what? I, I can't listen to this. <laughs> Have a good life. With your old, toothless, shriveled husband. Jude, please! You're breaking my heart. And you're literally tearing mine to bits! Why are you doing this, Cleo? Why? Why do you want to break our love? Our bond? I swear, Jude, I swear, I beg my parents. They, they don't even want to listen to what I have to say. I don't know why this is happening. I know. Your parents are greedy. No. And so are you. No. Jude! Jude! Oh. <laughs> Again, I've told you to forget about that boy, eh? He is not good for you. It's okay, it's okay, no, mommy, it. no. It's all right. Your husband is here. No, mommy, eh? no. Otumba is here, please. Please, 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 just come. No, no. Let's go, Otumba is here. And that was how the cookie crumbled. <laughs> That's how this whole mess called marriage started. Huh. I died every time he touched me. But there was little I could do. <laughs> and for the records, he isn't toothless. Not that I care, but I thought you should know. There's a lovette here to see you. Let her in. Okay. Yes, Jim. Good afternoon, sir. Please sit. Thank you. Thank you. Good. 
Have you cashed your check? Yes, I have. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And uh, what did my wife tell you? She was very scary, you. I was afraid. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'm sure you handled it well. I hope so. <laughs> you have a very lovely place here, sir. But I was expecting an office space. And you have a very gorgeous smile. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, you see, um, I use this as my guest house. And uh, from time to time, I also hold formal and informal meetings. <laughs> Where's your CV? Um, it's right here, sir. Hmm. Marketing? Yes, sir. <laughs> but you know, I cannot give you an obvious job, right? My wife will scrape off your hair and set it on fire. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Tough, isn't it? <laughs> Some of us do have that. Does that mean you can't help me, sir? Well, just relax and I'll think of what kind of work to give to you. <laughs> or are you in a hurry? No, I'm free, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy! Take her order. Yes, Chief. What would you like to drink, ma? Um, just water. Yes, ma. Tumba has his restrictions. <laughs> the driver gives him a recount of everywhere I go. Eh? Mm, so I sort of downsize my visits. Eh? Love, one, ten, ten. Hey! Now, what can you find the romance? So, eh? I suppose he wants to protect his property very well. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, how have you been? Where is Daddy? Isn't he back from work? Ah. A lot has changed, though. Hmm. We're moving out of here soon. Otumba got us a place. <laughs> Don't you think I know that, Mom? Of course, you no. Know. I'm just excited. Your father has been promoted. He will now be taking home one, two, three bull of his former salary. Ne e gadi go. Hey! Your sister is away at boarding school. Junior is now in King's Boys College. I am doing well with my new provision store. Hey! This life is sweet in so short a time. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Great. I bet that's what you and Dad wanted. Hey, don't talk like that. Your father and I meant well. Anyway, seeing that you guys are all right, I'd like to take my leave now. Ah, so soon? Yeah, I have a couple of errands to run. I just wanted to stop by. Hey, Cleo, I hope you are forgiving us. And I hope you are, you are, you are happy now. <laughs> I am. Everyone else was happy. <laughs> Except for me, of course. How great. I knew I had to do something. But I didn't know what, when, where, or how. <laughs> Otumba, he polices me through his dedicated driver. So I didn't even think of realizing any hanky-panky thoughts I noted. The feathers I went with such thoughts 
was all in my dream. <laughs> Yeah. I must run now. Bye, mom. Mbano. Mbano, bye bye. Oh, Chris hey, Otumba, very, very well for me, eh? Yes, Just go! The driver is waiting for you. Convincing. Mm -hmm. Or are you still in the running? Oh, well, you can ask the lady. Her name is Lovett. Wow. Lovett, okay. sweetie, are you still playing hard to get? I'm sorry, sir. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. You see, I used to have one sweetheart of a husband. But no worries. Was. Because since I found him, <laughs> I can see the music has changed now. Hmm? Well done, friend. You are doing very well. <laughs> I too played the good game before the scales fell off my eyes. So come on, girl. Let loose and play ball. After all, there is so much to gain. And nothing to lose, really. <laughs> come on. You can't lose what you don't have, can you? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to freak out here. Am I really in a gathering of married men versus married women? Am I really? Indeed I am. And surprisingly so. Well, not. Interestingly so, it turns out. Used to be sweet, smiles 
Why are you coming from this late? Mm. I'm talking to you. You smell like dead fish. If you are going to insult me, then I have nothing to say to you. You have not answered my question, Lobet. Why are you touching me? Am I no longer smelling like dead fish? Well, indeed you are. You are hurting me. Give me I asked you, where are you coming from? What do you want from me, William? What do you want from me? All I ask is that you take care of me. A demand that pains you so much to fulfill. You haven't spoken to me in days now. Just because I asked you for 64,000 naira to make my hair. Oh, only 64,000? Yes. How much do you earn, Lovett? Nothing. What do you contribute to this marriage? Nothing. Yet you sit around all day doing nothing and demand a high standard of living, something you clearly know I cannot afford. Agreed. I contribute nothing to this marriage. But guess what? If you cannot afford it, then do something about it. Like what? Like what? What? Rob a bank? Rituals? Fraud? What do you want me to do, Lover? Tell me, tell me. You have nothing. And yet you keep, you keep pushing me to go beyond my limits. As if you didn't know my financial standing before you constantly suggested and eagerly accepted to marry me. Hey, then push me away. Push me away and marry somebody else. Marry somebody who will not ask for anything from you. Hey. Yes, or better still, somebody who can contribute. But the sooner you do that, the better for you. Because my needs are my needs. And they'll be met either way. Please excuse me. Lover, what do you mean by that? Don't get me wrong. I tried to make things up with William, but things just weren't right anymore. I had tasted the sweet juice from the other side, and I couldn't help wanting more. Again. That's just me. Hello? Hey. Sikira! Sikira, where is the food? I'm starving. Oh, very well. The food will be ready in the next 10 minutes. You've been at it forever. So go get it quick. I'm really hungry. I'm sorry, Ma. Good evening, Ma. What would you like to eat for dinner? Nothing for now. Thank you, Ma. Excuse me. Are you waiting for someone? Yes. You. Me? <laughs> Do I know you? No, you don't. My name is Miranda, and I am Otumba's first wife. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. I am Otumbo's first wife. Nice to meet you. Our new wife. Cleo, right? Hope you had fun driving around today. Excuse me, please. Cleo? What now? Oh, come on, girl. You got to be kidding me. How fragile are you? Girl, this attitude won't cut it at all. Because you cannot be a lucky wife and be a softie. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> My name is Miranda Ujuku and I am an acquaintance to your husband's brother. <laughs> Are you for real? Yes. Look, Cleo, we play hard and fast. <laughs> Look, you and I know that you are not happy with Otumba. So why bother if he has 40 wives or not? Well, he said you're bored, but I think I know better. <laughs> you detest him. You want to be free to love again. Hmm? <laughs> How do you know that? Have you taken a good look at yourself in the mirror, sweetie? You are way beyond his type. I mean, no woman will come close to him, even with a long pole. Well, except for his money, of course. 
aren't you being too judgmental? Why don't you come and sit down? Let me teach you a thing or two about life in this part. Sit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You are pretty. Ha! This woman is callous. <laughs> but guess what? I like her. I like her a lot. Not only did she introduce me to one or two other gorgeous and fierce lucky wives, I also learned a thing or two from her. <laughs> the best of it being always to make me happy, no matter what. Just to let you know, you broke my heart. I know, Chief, and I'm sorry. You locked yourself in. You waited for me to get out of the house before you stepped out. You avoided me for two weeks. I was even tempted to come and knock on your door. Thank God you didn't. So tell me, do I deserve such treatment? Chief, no you don't. But I needed time and space to think. I needed to clear my head and put things in perspective. Now tell me, where do I stand? Chief, I can't continue like this. I'm suffering. I'm not happy. <laughs> he doesn't take care of me, yet he treats me like trash. He doesn't show that he loves me. <laughs> he takes out his financial frustrations on me and abuses me verbally and emotionally. If we're not even intimate anymore, I could go on and on. I, I can't continue like this if I want to leave. No, 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 no. It hasn't come to that, my dear. <laughs> Listen. Your marriage is in the early stages. And for financially challenged couples, it can be tedious. That's why you have people like us to help out. We have been through it all, and we know where it pinches. You see, marriage without money can be tedious, especially when you have people around you who have it in abundance. Don't worry, wipe your tears. I'm here to help you. Thank you, Chief. You're my angel. Oh, you are my angel.
Hello. Hello. Hello, my love. Please don't hang up. Please, I beg you, please. Cleo, what do you want from poor me? Jude, please. Just give me a chance to have a word with you face to face. Please, there's so much I need to tell you. So much. Please, can we meet tomorrow? Don't you have guards following you everywhere? How's that supposed to happen? There are guards everywhere watching my every move. So it'd be hard to meet you anywhere else but here. What? I know what I'm doing. Please, just trust me on this, okay? I'll text you the address tomorrow. Come with some drugs and tell the guards that you're my cousin. I will inform them that you're coming. I love you so much, Jude. Uh, what? And I can't wait to see you. Bye, my love. That what? Look, here is a, 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 a transaction that, uh, that we have not concluded. He's asking for money. What kind of lawyer is he? She charge and bill. Any go by my office? Go by my office. You go and tell him to come and meet me at the office. I'm Good morning, Otumba. Huh? Good morning, my angel. How are you? Did you sleep well? I did, sir. Yeah, thank God. Uh, Otumba. Now you have to go back to your room. They have really opened your drawer. There is money in it. Call the driver. Let him take you out to do some shopping. Then get acquainted with the name of. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, Thank you. No, oh yeah, you have to go now. You mean I should leave now? Of course, I have to prepare for work and uh, lock up, you know. Um, okay. Have a good day, Otumba. Thank you very much. Well, you too. I'm bored, Otumba. All I do is go out shopping every day. I'm really bored. You know, I need to work or own a shop or something. I'm going out of my mind. My darling, don't worry. Don't worry yourself. Ah, you soon get used to it. You soon get used to it. See, I cannot allow my wife to start working for peanuts. It's not possible. All you need to do is just to stay here, take care of yourself. Uh, so by the time you are pregnant, you'll be able to relax and nurture the pregnancy of my first baby. Huh? You, you soon get used to it. Don't worry, you're hmm? smart. You soon get used to it. Clear, clear. Come back. You're going to be late for work. Uh. <laughs> Funny girl. Yeah, you're yeah, still shy. <laughs> I see you're one of those headstrong ones. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How dare you raise your hand at me after sleeping with my husband? I will scrape off every strand of hair you've got there and burn it while you watch. You dare step on my toes and stand your ground? You have your own husband, but your eyes are on mine. What demon gave birth to you after all? Please, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. I want to go to my shop. What shop? What shop? The one my husband rented for you at Ikota? Or is there any other one I don't know about? Please, ma'am. You are creating a scene. Are you making a scene? <coughs> Look, by the time I'm done with you in this compound, you will learn how not to sleep with other people's husbands. You slut. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Ask your wife. Ask your prostitute of your wife what she's doing with my husband. Ask her. Who rented a shop for her what 700,000 at the Cotter Complex? Ask her who gave her a check what 3 million that she used in stock in her shop. Then who bought her a business class ticket and accompanied her to London to shop? Ask your wife. And that car she's camouflaging as a car hire. Who bought it for her? There are all these things she's putting on. These expensive things. How come she can afford them? Ask your slots. 
Lovetz. Is this true? When did all this happen? I've only been gone for a week. Lovett, I'm talking to you. Answer me if I do something. Don't touch her. And you. Go in this minute, crazy woman. Chief. So you're talking to me like this because of this thing? Are you talking back at me? Go inside at once! Sir, please do not interfere. This is between my wife and I. And this is my space. I would have no form of molestation in my territory. With all due respect, sir, it is you who are the molester. You've molested my wife, you've molested me, now you're molesting Hydra. How evil can you be? It is God that will judge you. You dare insult me in my own space? I'll have you locked up in a minute. Locked up? You sleep with my wife and you say you want to lock me up. This is, this is fantastic. Spider! Take him away. Oh, give me, Chief, oh, give me. Chief, please. Why are you begging him? Isn't this what you'd rather have? Hmm? Please, Chief, please. Are you sure? Let him go. I guess this is what I should say. Thank you. You're, you're all far too kind. I'm going in there to grab my things and leave your property, sir. Please have a check signed for my balance. I get it. It was bound to happen someday anyhow. And it did. What can I say? She happened. Story, story. Story, story. Story. Yes, who is it? Come in. Good morning, ma. Yes, good morning. Um, your cousin, Judy, he's here to see you, ma. Oh, did he give you my medicine? Um, no, but I can get it for you if you want. It's okay, just tell him to come up to my room. Okay, ma'am. This house gives me the creeps. Such a poor display of wealth. It's disgusting. Good morning, my love. Hi. Please shut the door. You know, it would be foolish for a rich man like Otsumba not to have cameras everywhere around this house. Jude, I made new friends. I'm not as naive as I was before. That problem has been taken care of. So, you're happy being a prisoner? No, but I am happy that you will share this prison with me. What are you doing, Cleo? Why did you have to marry this man? Why did you abandon us? Why? Jude, we cannot continue living in the past. We are here now. Let's make the best of it. Hmm? I have the perfect plan. Come, come, come here. Come to your matrimonial bed. God forbid. No, 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 no. Okay, this is not Otsumba's bed. This is my room, and he never comes here. So, where do you guys do it? Honey, can you please stop for a second and just come, please? Pardon me. You 
tore my heart to pieces. You did say when you refused to take my calls. You're another man's wife. But my heart belongs to you. Why could you? Why did you have to marry him? I loved you. And I love you still. I'm making myself happy, all right? And happy I choose to be. Now, you can judge me if you will, but my choice is my choice. And my choice for now is to be with the one I love, regardless. I don't see tomorrow. I don't see the consequences of my actions. I don't see nothing. All I see is my happiness, and that is all that matters. <laughs> Otsumba should by all means Tumba himself. <laughs> Who cares? Thanks for making me happy once again. <laughs> I missed you. Terribly. I did too, and I dread for that to happen again. Cleo, you can't eat your cake and have it. You have to move on and deal with your current situation. Mm. And let me stay away. I can't. I'll die. <sighs> so what next? You have to move in here with me. What? Are you out of your mind? How is that going to happen? I don't mean here in my room. You can stay in one of the boys' quarters. Hmm? How for hell's sakes? How? I have it under control. Thanks. Now I know you're losing your mind. <laughs> That's for sure. Story, story. Story, story, story. To say I am disappointed in you is an understatement. I'm sorry, Mama. My son, it is with heavy heart that I received this news. Is there no way to go back? <clears throat> there is no going back, Mama Lovett. It is my son's wish to end this marriage. And I support him fully. Because it is only a blind cockroach that will run through a burning bush and expect to come out unharmed at the other end. Your daughter here has indicated that the little stipend my son brings back at the end of the month cannot suffice her. So, we're letting her go. My son, to err is human, and to forgive is divine. Please, take a change in your heart, my no, son. No, 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 mama, no need. What's done is done. We can't be together. So it's best to go our separate ways. You are indeed a fool. Where did you get this greed from? I raised you better than that. What has gone into you? Nothing, Mama. He said he doesn't want it again. And the feeling is mutual. Please let him go. That's what I've been dealing with. Ingrate, that's what she is. Mama Lovett. The traditional returning of the bride price be performed very soon. Yes, yes. You tell your people you hear from us. Come on, give me a break, will you? I have been abused, cursed, slapped, punched, and disgraced. What other torment must I go through before I can get a breather? I want what I want. I need what I need. My decision doesn't have to go down when we all and surgery. After all, it's my decision, not anybody else's. So please just cut me some slack, I beg. So, did he seriously think that you would go down on your knees and beg him? Me. He knows me better than that. <laughs> the guy for cool down, follow you, chop the money. After all, it's free money. You are the one doing all the work. I tell you. You acted too quick, I beg. You only wanted a better life. Pew, you, you feel me. Sure, I do. I mean, we have to find ways of doing whatever makes us happy. Marriage <laughs> is one hell of a roller coaster. And not everyone can take it. If I had my way, 
honestly, I wouldn't even be caught dead with this old monster I call my husband. Mm. Then do something about it. Huh? I am alright, trust me. You see, the difference between you and I is unlike your husband, mine is stinking rich. And walking away from that is suicidal. So, I rather sit in here and do all my dirty work when and how I can. You feel me too I now. feel you die, <laughs> baby. You see? Some women are doing it right from the comfort of their husband's homes. And yet I'm the bad one because I walked away. Anyway, let's just see where this whole fast train ride takes me. And as for Cleo and her issues, it's none of my business. I'm just going to continue supporting her in all she does because she's a damn good customer and I'm loving her for it. And I could definitely use some of her husband's money, which is quite in abundance, I hear. So let's just roll with it. Abby, is it easy to wear designer labels from top to toe? You said check them now. To keep up, I have to kiss ass. <laughs> Yeah, the song of the moonlight I love this Lekki estate. I was only here last month to rent a flat. Eh? It's called the Peninsula Crown Estate. And there are no properties for rent, only for sale. Plus, there are no flats, only duplexes and mansions. Really? Mm -hmm. Must have been a mix up though, but I could have sworn it was this estate. <laughs> Lekki is the very area. There are a thousand estates around. Yeah, definitely a mix up. Still beautiful though. <laughs> I didn't know you were home. It's my, my, my name is Uju. Lover's old friend from university. 
It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. Please, what can I get you? Ah, no. Ah, don't worry. I don't want to stress you. Don't worry, to take care of me. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, no, not at all, ma'am. I'm the steward. Please, don't hesitate to mention what you want. Mm. Okay. Ace, what did you say your name was? My name is Joe. Mm -hmm. Go and get me love it, Joe. Okay, ma'am. Tiot. Ah, Joe. Okay, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Please, fix me my sin. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Aren't you responsible for it? Yes, I am. <laughs> he mixes the most amazing pina coladas. <laughs> I like it too. Nice champagne. <laughs> Pina colada champagne? I've never heard of that. I'm talking about the cocktail mix. Aha! <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. It's the cocktail. Nice cocktail mix. <laughs> Joe, love, make that for two. Hey, <laughs> Are you always this cordial with your steward? Well, aside from the fact that I don't want him poisoning me, he does a little more than just being a steward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me, I like to draw the line with my help. Good for you. So, madam, let's play catch up. What's up with you? Catch up, right? Mm. Hmm. I couldn't help but noticing you have a very lovely home. Thank you. You know, it's almost as though you and I have the same taste in home decor. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? Uh, where are the pictures of your husband? There are none on the wall that I see. I'm not married. Huh? Well, I was, but I got divorced. So now I'm single. So he left all this for you? <laughs> no. I acquired all this by myself. How? I mean, what do you do? Do you do business? <laughs> Nothing. I live in Lekki. And I play. Story. Story, story. Story, story. Story. Manhandle you? Were you robbed? Did, did anybody hurt you? Ah, Solomon! So if I was really manhandled and, and, and robbed, you would come and do that with, with a butcher knife? Oh! Huh. Can you please talk to me? What happened here? What happened? Solomon, I'm tired! I'm tired, okay? I wake up in the morning, I cook, I clean, I put on the generator, I cook again, I fetch water, I'm tired! This is the 21st century, Solomon. Things are moving up. How many times have I beg to get help? Only but it's just the two of us that are here. What do you need the help for? Ah, therein lies the problem, Solomon. Hey, people live alone and still have many helps. Ha! Huh? One day you come back and find me dead oh, in this unsafe and misfit area. Ha! Huh? Move, Ujo! Leave me alone, please. Ujo, why are you acting like this? Ah, Solomon, you don't care about me. Oh. You don't care about my safety or my well-being. And why are you all of a sudden concerned about these issues? Hmm. 
If you don't know what's good for me, I know what's good for myself. Uju, this area is secure. We have a police station and we have neighbors too. Mm. Nobody's gonna harm you. Mm. Yet you came at me with a butcher knife. What were you expecting me to do now? This house was... Everywhere was a mess. I'm no longer comfortable in this house. Every time you go to work, I'm alone in this house. All by myself. Anything can happen to me. Why can't we just move to somewhere more secure and comfortable? What do you mean by more secured environment? Are we living in a rural area? And by the way, what makes you think that security is guaranteed in other parts? Ah, it is. There are places where these rich and influential people live. They have security agencies, they have patrols and the like. They even have a button that you press anytime there's an intruder. That button will alert all the other security agencies in the axis and then they will catch the intruder. People are busy living well, we are here living porous and empty lives. I see. So where is this heavenly place that you speak so highly of? Ah, Sulo. It's Lekki Peninsula. I see. Yes. Ah, Lekki. Good night. Ah, Sulo, Mon Sulo. Good morning. Do you want breakfast? Don't worry, I'll pass. I don't want you feeling bad about cooking for me. I hope you don't expect me to feel bad about that. Don't I know you? What do you mean? Would you? See, I've got to go out this morning, okay? And if I don't come back home with some money, I fear what you're going to be telling me next. Like? You tell me, I don't know. This one that you're all about newness. I don't even know what to expect from you next. Ah, what's so wrong about wanting newness in our lives? Is it so bad? What is wrong with trying to achieve to be something better than your present status? Would you? This is not you talking. Something has come into you and that thing needs to be punched out. And yet you wonder why I haven't conceived in two years of marriage. And what has that got to do with anything? Why are you being so mean to me now? So no more. Why are you being so mean to me now? Eh? Why? What have I done? How bad can it be? Eh? What exactly have I done, you? Am I asking for too much? Eh, Solomon? All I want is to be happy. Eh? You know, my guy once told me that a person's overall well-being is dependent largely on the environment and the person's mental state of mind. Maybe I'm not even happy. That's why I've not been able to conceive these past two years of marriage. Oh. So all of those women that live in the barracks, in the villages and the farms that conceive every day in court. Huh? They're happy with where they are now. They've accepted their destinies in life and they've made peace with that. And now their bodies can function rightly. Would you? But you've always been happy here. What has changed? I've not always been happy. I just didn't voice it. So it's alright, it's alright. I'll, I'll think about it. Story, 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 story. Hello. Story. Good afternoon, ma. Welcome. Do you have original Brazilian here? Uh, of course we do sell original. We don't sell fake hair. <laughs> we sell Brazilian natural virgin hair. Okay. I hope you guys have warranty. The last one I bought it was fake. Ah, uh, don't worry. I guarantee you this time around you won't get buying hair from us. It's a very original one. Let me see this one. This? Yes. This is 180,000 there and it's 18 inches. So what make of hair is this? Peruvian. Not only Mongolian, Peruvian and Brazilian. When I follow stock Eskimos hair and Senegalese hair join. As soon as I don't tire for Chinese and Brazilian. 
This is the story and name dropping that confuses people like us. But no worry, I'm ready. I have 50k to spend. What of Mongolian? That's the one I want. Mongolian is very, very expensive, ma. It's very, very expensive. Take for instance, if you are buying like 18 inches as well, that one will cost you like 350,000. Hmm. As in, how long is it? Will you reach me here like this? No, if you want that kind of length, then we are going to order that one for you specially. How long will that take? Mm, like one week, two months. Depends. Mm. I need it urgently for an occasion. Mm. And uh, it has to be that length. Wow. Anyways, um, let me shop around. If I don't get what I'm looking for, I'll come back. Oh, mm. but wait, Ma, can I have your number in case? Um, you do sell all that kind of hair, like Indian, virgin. <laughs> Hey, 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 what are you not going to see for this lucky? Me, Uju Ikedi. I should remove my money and go and buy hair for 350k. See what happened now? Okay, what happened to my normal 6k straight human hair? So if I buy that hair, I know I'll come out again, Abi. Mm hmm. Okay, instead of that, make I go pursue those Oyibo children where they beg for road, eh? Give them 10k. Let them cut part of their hair for me. Make I just gum them. If I can't gum it, I will carry and go Obioma. Then he will see me properly. What a mess. <laughs> Sit down, look, I can't do for Lagos. So. Bendam Boutique saves lives. See me now, all decked out, top to toe, in designer labels. It takes a fake to know a fake, right? Check, please. Hi, Miranda. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Thank you, Joe. Ladies, I'd like to introduce you all to my bosom friend from way back in school, Uju. She was the it girl back then. What do you mean by back then? Are you implying that I've lost my touch? Of course not. I still see that spark in your eye. Look at you all put together. You still got it, girl. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Big name designers. Yes, so. Look at her purse, her shoes, her dress. She's named out from head to toe. Mm. <laughs> or not. Thanks, ladies. I mean, what can a girl do? Sometimes you have to try to keep up with fashion. Mm -hmm. And you have to spoil yourself a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So talking about that, for my 38, I just ordered myself the latest G. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, if he learns Niger, Lucky roads will cry foul <laughs> because all my other cars they're taking the heat in all the bad corner roads. <laughs> it's true, the roads around here are bad and they need attention. Mm. Thank God I have a Jeep. Oh, wait, oh, Miranda, are you serious? My husband just ordered the same ride two weeks ago. A gift for me for taking in. Oh, oh okay, oh, for real? Cleo, you're pregnant? Ah, thank God. Oh dear, you deserve it. Not a lot of women get to experience this wonderful gift. Uh, ah, thank God. Your husband must be so excited. <laughs> excited is an understatement. He is over the moon. <laughs> Congrats, babes. Who knew an oldie like your husband could still fire? 
Not to talk of scoring so soon. Eh, 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 love it. Stop it all. I love me my papa the way he is. He brings <laughs> joy to my life. Uh -huh, really? <laughs> just last month here, you were looking like a puppy who just lost his mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were there to tell me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is really exciting. So mm. how far along are you? Five weeks. Mm. Wow, lovely. So, um, would you... Do you have any kids? No. My husband and I are still in the early stages. For how long now? Oh, uh, just over two years. And you call that early stages? Huh. Better give your husband a child and fast too. Because that's the only way to hold your ground and then be keyed into the wheel. That is if there is any left of his money when he dies. Mind you, having a child is not a guarantee that a man will put you in his will. Some men are stingy, you know. <laughs> Look, ladies. Let her have a child when she will, okay? You guys should stop pushing. In God's time, it will happen. Please, how for now? These days, you don't say much without adding the name of God. What's happening? <laughs> you don't know. Madame here is now a born-again Christian, no? and she's really into it. But the good thing about her is that she hasn't lost her sense of fashion. She'll preach to you about Jesus, and then thereafter, she'll drop 350,000 naira on a head to toe fashion forward ensemble. Wow. Way to go, Pastor! <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, just because I'm born again doesn't mean that I'm a spoiler. I still love my fashion. But in the meantime, I think we should drink a toast to this new friendship with Uju and the wonderful news about our pregnant Cleo. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Would you? Mm -hmm. Can I touch your hair? Sure. What make of hair is this? Oh, it's Brazilian human hair. Story. So why is it this stiff and coarse? I mean, it should have a bounce to it and yet feather it to touch. Well, it may be tangled or something, but don't worry, by the time I wash it and set it, it'll come alive. Story. Ouch! Did I just say wash and set? Ah! See, phone call. Ah! And the hair seller said not to do the usual wash and set. To, she said to use a... Uh, ah! I've forgotten. Somebody help, help. Quick! I need help. <laughs> Uju, you don't wash and set real human hair. You use roller sticks. That term wash and set was used ages ago for God knows what. Sweetie, trust me when I say this. You can actually wash and set human hair, depending on you, because that's the true test of the realness of it. Hmm. And who cares when the term wash and set was used? It doesn't matter. You can use roller sticks, you can use even traditional rollers, hot comb, whatever it is you want to, to use, and style it to the preferred or desired style you want. That's all that matters. I don't care too much about my hair. Actually, it's my money. Abio, I'm not so crazy about all the hair thoughts. I could really care less sometimes, trust me. The stress of putting it all together and looking good every time, huh, it's not as easy as it appears to be. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you people think I cut my hair? It's easier to manage right now. Mm. <laughs> Sweethearts, your morphology speaks a lot about you. So what makes you the outer you is all the little add-ons of which hair is a major part of it. Look at this Gorema Pa talking about hair. Not a single strand on your big bald head and you are here lecturing me on hair. If it was that easy, why are you bald? Honey, trust me, I know hair like I know wine. You can't beat me to it. So, forget the skin coat. It's high fashion for those who can handle it. I see. So, molo molo hair now is high fashion. You bet. <laughs> So, would you tell him, where do you live? Miranda, <laughs> when is the car landing now? We must wash it all. Ah, certainly now, trust me. <laughs> uh, would you, you, you came with a taxi. Where is your chip? Ah, uh, her car broke down. Hmm. Oh, you have only one? What part of Lekki do you live in? Well, ladies, in due time and in due course, all your questions will be answered. For now, why don't we just loosen up a little bit, uh, enjoy the evening, have some wine, and loosen up. Gosh, the air is tense. Oh, um, 
I agree with that. I agree with that. Because mm. the, the drilling is starting to get a little hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. There is something about this Uju girl that doesn't quite sit well with me. She is one to certainly look out for. I'm on to her. That's you. Oh. Actually, I don't receive calls when I'm having fun. Whatever it is can wait, even if the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Yeah. Are they mad? Make an answer this earphone for you. Have you seen the devices those ladies were fondling with? Eh? Yeah. Uju is game on, no? Game on. Where are you coming back from this late? Oh, sorry, honey, I'm late. <sighs> the traffic was crazy. I said, where are you coming back from? Ah, so I went to the doctor now. I left his office at five. If you see traffic coming back. Hmm. You went to see the doctor? What's the problem? What happened? It's like you don't understand my desire to have a child. Though. Maybe not as much as I would want to. So, what did the doctor say? Uh, he says I'm okay. I just need to relax and rest. Now, the rest is entirely up to you. How? Sweetie, you have savings now. Sacrifice for me the way I have sacrificed for you. Sometimes in life, you have to take bold steps. Don't bind yourself with limited thoughts. We can be whoever we want to be. It's not even that expensive. For 750,000 naira, we can get a flat there. Compared to 150,000 naira we are paying here. The difference is not much. Mm. I can see that you have done your homework very well. But I'm sorry. I don't see the need for that. So fast forward, three weeks on, after plenty nagging or persuasion, like I would like to put it, hmm? we finally made the move. My husband now found a nice, decent apartment in the heart of Lekki. Hey! After paying from his salary one year's rent, I had officially become a Lekki wife. You want to try me? I told you, I do whatever it takes. Sweetheart, I still don't understand why you insisted we shouldn't come with our furniture. Oh, honey, this is like a new beginning for us now, so there's no need to bring in the baggage. Well, I just hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, everything will be all fine. And by the way, you better be prepared to make the baby's knuckles when lucky <laughs> now. <laughs> Are you expecting someone? No. Okay, I'll check who it is. Okay. Someone from the estate management office. Oh, I see. They said these are guidelines for residents. Hmm. What? 300,000 in service charge? What's, what's that? Security, trash clearing, and maintenance. For 300,000? That's insane. Is that all you're going to say? Hmm. <laughs> Honey, what seat again? Can you imagine? They are saying that we can't use noisy generators, only silent ones. No, you've got to be joking. You know what? All of those just savings will go into the payment of the service charge. Oh. As for that generator, there is no way I'm going to buy a one million naira generator. Well, I have to roll. I don't stay in the house most of the time, my dear wife. Hmm? Eh. Yeah. So I'm the one that stays at home. So I'm the one that will stay in the house without power. Me, I cannot stay in this house without power. So what will I do? Oh. Use your teeth to count your thumb, Mrs. Lecky wife. Okay, so nobody tells you about the status quo of living in this axis. But hey, we are here now and there's no going back. I'll do whatever it takes to maintain this new lifestyle and make certain that there's no going back. Whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes.
Sure, you were going to be open at this time. What can I do now? I have to make ends meet. You know, I'm not as lucky as you know. What do you mean? Of course, you're lucky. Look at this place. How many young single ladies can afford a shop like this? <laughs> hmm? <Lady> Coco La Diva. <laughs> Abio. I'll forever be grateful to Chief Saraki for setting this up for me. Chief, Chief Saraki, the estate developer. Yes. Well, are you two related? I never knew. Hmm. Me and my big mouth. And I've been coding all this while. Send me a message this morning now. Ah. Uh, never mind that. So what brings you here this morning? Lovet, don't try and change the subject. Mm -hmm. Chief Saraki is married, you know. Look, if there's anything going on between you that is not strictly a platonic relationship, then you need to end it now. It is a sin against God and a sin against your body. Look at this woman. Coming into my shop and judging me. What right has she? For goodness sake, she was a call girl standing on the streets of Sanusi Fafunwa when she met her husband. Now, she thinks that she can come here and judge me because she's playing righteous. I honestly have the good mind of throwing her out of my shop. Peace. Do you really think I'm dating Chief Saraki? What do you take me for? Well, I asked if you were related to him and you said no. Biologically, no. But other forms, yes. Nothing sexual. Ah. Well, thank God, though. I'm sorry for judging you. <laughs> it's okay. So what brings you here? Well, actually, some of my friends from church, they want the Coco La Diva post I got from you last week. Ah, they loved it. Nice. So how many do you need? Four. Hmm. You sure do have fashionistas in that church of yours. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Look, I'm even headed over there right now. You can come with me. I'm already open for the day. I can't close shop now. <laughs> Love it. You need to find time for God. He can take this your business to the next level, but you need to be committed to him. There are no excuses, so you cannot be too busy for your maker. Okay. One more word from this woman and I'll lose my cool. Buy what you want to buy and go to church now. Must I follow in her footsteps? Do you hear me preaching to her about divorcing her husband? She's really starting to get on my nerves. Seriously. Okay. I know I ticked her off a bit. But as a Christian, one needs to find ways of preaching God's word whenever necessary. Lovette needs to change her ways. <laughs> Let me get the verse. <laughs> I don't think you heard me well the first time. So I'll say it again. Our primary job here is to support, to help and to build. We are builders, not demolishers. We groom, we don't destroy. We nurture, we care for, we take care of. Can I get an amen? Hmm. I see it is uh, one of those days, eh? I bet if I was preaching on, um, on riches and blessings, I would get a thunderous amen. <laughs> hmm. But guess what? Whether you clap or you say amen, no, I will preach it. <laughs> we are indeed blessed. Take a look around us. There is not one woman here who cannot afford three meals a day. Know ye that it is not by your hard work alone or by your husband's position in government. It is by the will of God. So let's not get it twisted, sisters. And to whom much is given? Much is expected. Aha. Uh -huh. Blessed as we are, we have been given the grace and power to nurture, to groom, and to build. So sisters, nurture, groom, and build your home, your family, your community. Build your friends your environment, your society. 
Build your country. Build your community. Build your nation. Go forth, women of God, and nurture, grow, and build. Amen? Amen. So you finally decided to remember her. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. I, I, I couldn't actually reach you. We were in service. We had to switch off our phones. I hope you know that your constant worship is biting into your home time. Or don't they teach you that in the worship center? I'm sorry I didn't inform you prior. I, I'm really sorry. I am sorry. That is all I get from you. That and constant preaching of what I should and should not do in bed with my wife. Okay, okay babe. I see that you're very upset right now and I'm, I'm so... I apologize. Bloody same thing! Victor, please don't do this. You left home this morning for your women's fellowship. And you return home now and you tell me that you have been in worship. Tell me, peace. What kind of worship starts in the morning and finishes at night? The worship actually ended at noon. And I, I did come home to check on the kids. I spent some time with them and then I went back in the evening. And in all that, I didn't cross your mind. Darling, I'm sorry. I should have called you. I'm sorry. Do you realize that you have changed tremendously? The perception you gave me of being born again is one that turns you away from sin, not your husband. One that creates a free communication route with God. Not one that closes all communication path with your husband. Peace, not once did you tell me that you turning a new leaf meant abandoning me and my needs, though. I am just saying. No, no, babe, don't say that. It's not true. It's not. Then why the sudden change in attitude? Okay, honestly, I admit that I have been consumed with the anxiety to serve Jesus. I mean, after all my wasted years in sin, to finally have a chance to make things right. It's just, baby, there's so much peace in his presence. It is, it's so exciting, and I just want to stay there all the time. Honey, if you could only experience this for yourself, believe me, I know that you would understand that it is hard to resist. I see. Well... While you're at it, you might as well get married to him and free me of my torture. Doesn't one of your songs proclaim that you are married to Jesus? Please, turn off the light, eh? So I can sleep, so I can experience my own irresistible peace. Baby. Please, turn off the light. These past months have not been easy for me, I tell you. It's been a battle to get me to where I was with my husband before my journey with Christ began. I just pray that he understands this because the road with him has been really rough. One cannot serve two masters, right? One must definitely give way for the other or am I getting this all wrong? So far away, like the ground to the sun, but I promise to be back like the prodigal son. But this time I ain't coming empty-handed. I'm coming so heavy like the plane that just landed. So never worry, I'm homecoming. I'm coming home like PD. So play the solo so loud and let the toasters realize that I'm coming home to take care of my baby. Oh, 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 o